in the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, Psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything.
Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. No brook here. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Ow! Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate, or Max.
She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm. Who will survive and what will be left of them? That would be like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria.
Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate. Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. No need to go there now. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person.